Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. I uh, decided I would try something new today um, with today's episode of Fallout New Vegas. I um, figured I would try some camera stuff and see how that works out. Um, hopefully it does. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And um, if you do, leave a like and a comment, subscribe, all that fun kind of stuff. And uh, yeah. So, let's get into Fallout New Vegas. So, in the last episode of Fallout New Vegas, we did some stuff for the Tops. We helped them out. Um, we found some new um, entertainment for them, which was pretty fun. Uh, we went around to different places and, uh, you know, talked to a bunch of different people, like the Lonesome Drifter. Uh, I think the other guy, his name was Harold or Harnold or something. <laughs> I can't remember what his name is. Um, the Ghoul guy. Um, and we found that guy on the strip, you know, trying to be funny, and he wasn't very funny. Um, but we offered him a job anyway. So on this episode, we're going to be going to a place called the Ultralux. It's going to be pretty fun. And, um, we're going to be uncovering a, uh, kidnapping, and we're going to see how that goes. So let's grab our drinks, grab our snacks, let's get into this. And you're also, the one thing you're probably going to wonder, hey, um... This guy. I didn't know they let Brahmin into this joint. What the hell? If you had your life to live over again, let me make a suggestion. Play in traffic. What the hell? Swank is here, ladies and gentlemen. Make yourself at home, Swank. Hit you dig this crazy you scene, scene or what? Wow, okay. Um, how about you don't play in traffic? And how about we just kind of leave this place? You or what? Okay. So like I was trying to say before, um, there's one thing you've probably noticed, and that's that I don't talk during loading screens. And the reason for that um, is actually, so New Vegas isn't very stable in Windows 10. <clears throat> um, same with Fallout 3. So I tend to not talk uh, during the loading screens for that fact, because if it crashes, it cuts out on what I say and all that stuff, because I don't do uh, pre-recorded scripts. I like to talk and play in the moment and stuff like that. Um, so like always, you know, I get to save it up and whatnot. Uh, so let's just save it up right here because we're going to go uh, out of here and we're going to go into the Ultralux. So let's do that. Takes so long to load sometimes. Okay. Hey, asshole! Uh, Everyone loves a good insult, am I right? So you love Hadrian live at the Aces Theater. What the fuck? I've never had this happen before. Uh, this is new to me. Um, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> um, where do I find Aces Theater? What sort of show are you talking about? Hadrian, the insult comic. Did I stutter, fucktard? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See, I'm using insults to promote the act. Oh my boy. Idea. Oh boy. Um wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck off, ass breath. You've already heard my spiel. You really got to go see Adrian. Oof. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, at least this this video is not for children, that's for sure. Woo wee. Man. All right. So <laughs> this is the Ultralux right here. Um and this is where we're going to be starting uh this episode the adventure. Holy shit. Wow, I don't ever remember that. Maybe it was in the game, but I don't remember it. Oh my god. Wow. Alright. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Uh, sure, here you are, good sir. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. <clears throat> Please, enjoy your stay. Yeah, no problem. And, uh, remember folks, gotta drink your water. It's getting pretty hot out there. Um, where did you take my weapons, White Glove Greeter? How dare you take my weapons? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Yeah, they better. Farewell. Bye-bye. 
All right, so as you see, it's pretty fancy here, and um, not that many people here. We can actually play games here if we really wanted to. Um, there's a guy we're going to talk to you in a little while. He's, well, oh shit, wrong button. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Uh, this guy here, Heck, Heck Gunderson, that's his name. That's his guard there. Um, let's see what kind of games we got here. Roulette, I'm not, ever, I'm not good at that game. Um, blackjack table. You must purchase it. Oh, I gotta buy some chips first. Okay, so let's buy some chips first. And then, uh, let's play some, uh, games. It'd be a fun way to do the start the episode, I think. Humbly at your service. Alright, I'd like to buy some, uh, chips. Um let's buy about 2,000 chips, um I think. I think that's a good idea. All right, so let's try here. So my luck is at a hundred, I believe. We'll take a quick look. Um, let's see here. Oh, I, I see. I pushed the wrong button. Uh, we want stats special. Yeah, my luck's at ten. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, so because my luck's at my play? yeah my luck is at ten basically I can just kind of like fly through games and pretty much win really fast. Um, you watch now that I said it I'm not gonna win real fast now. So I like to do the max bet which is two hundred and let's just see here. And I think I pushed the wrong button because I've not played this in a little bit. Ah why am I doing this? Oh I win anyway apparently. Um. Oh no, I lost. I don't even know, because it says Y and RT and X and all that, but, oh shit. Um, but I'm using a PS3 controller here. So the buttons are a bit different, so I don't even know. It's seven, that's 7, 8, 9, that's 10. Okay. Man, it's raining, raining like a crazy thing. You know, crazy, crazy shit out there. It's raining like crazy. Um... Is he surrenders? X stays B. I don't know what B is. B Y. Apparently, stay is circle. Okay. Let's do one more. And we win. You know what? Let's do one more because we're doing really good. Let's just wait here, and you break even. Mm, one more. <clears throat> okay. Pretty pretty fun. How do I exit? So I could literally sit here and play this for, you know, like a good long time, but we're not going to do that because uh, we have a mystery to un reveal and do today. And, um, you know, we don't want to be sitting here doing a bunch of, uh, at your service. you know, a bunch of games and stuff. I'm an oh, that pushed the wrong one. Um, let's see here. Turn to my chips. Uh, pay me in caps. I think I can actually, I like to exchange NCR money for chips. So this is, a, this is why I like keeping the NCR money and that's why I don't sell it to vendors. Um, Cause you can actually exchange How many? your money as you can see into chips. How many chips would you like? Oh, whoops. And uh, anyway, like I was saying, Here's so you can chips. exchange your so um, NCR money into chips same with your legion money into chips as well and then you can exchange the chips into caps so technically it's free money you know you know got to use your thinking um so that, that's what i do anyway here's your chips i don't even know how much i don't even know how much ncr money we have to be honest Oh man, we got so much. Maybe I won't sit here and do this. How many? Oh man, wait. Oh, okay. So maybe I don't have as much as I thought. Okay. So now, now what we're going to do is we're going to exchange all of the chips that we got for uh, for chips. I like to turn in my chips pay out in caps and that's everything and boom 
So let's see how much caps do we got. Let's see. It's gonna take a little while, so let's just walk to Heck Heck, blah, blah, blah. Heck Gunderson. Can't talk. Six hundred and forty caps. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Um. So now let's talk to good old Heck Gunderson. He is uh somewhere right here. So let's talk to this guy. The NCO took back. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Well, no, no, I haven't, Mr. Gunderson. I'm sorry. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour, and my own son just up and disappears on me. Oh, man, that's, that's not very good at all, you know, but, you know, you lost your son. My boy, Ted, he was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got hmm. most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Well, no problem, Mr. Gunderson. I'll help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. All right, so let's talk to him a little bit more. Um, you know, find out some more. Um, so you're a rancher. Yep, got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch, but land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. <laughs> oh, man. So, why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun, but no one else is allowed to have a gun in here? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Well, you know, let's, uh... Let's try and find his son. Um, let's see here. So we have to go... A name like that could have I think we have to go talk line. to, I think, Marjorie, or the other person. Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe. I think I am. Open door. Key. Maybe. Wait, hold on. What quest am I even on? Oh, ask around the altar locks. Okay, so I think we basically just gotta ask anybody. Good day. Mortimer. How may I be of service, sir? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay. That's weird. Um, yeah, I think we need to talk to Marjorie. The Gourmand. Wait, really? That can't be right. Oh, apparently so. Alright, so like always, let's, uh, save it up here because you know game likes to freeze so let's head in here all right oh yeah so I am right okay that was really weird I don't know why her voice didn't pop up uh, I'm looking for someone who went missing recently this again, I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of those investigators' questions to his satisfaction and gave him all the help I could. I know reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. Uh, how some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason it is written in the Charter. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um... Okay, I see who she'll talk to me now. Welcome to the ultimate. There we go. Um, who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride to be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. 
And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. That sounds pretty, pretty suspicious to me. A man? Well, then this, well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I can talk to this investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. <clears throat> we have nothing to hide here. The White Glove Society used to eat human flesh. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Hmm. So basically she said that we don't do it, and we never did it, but now she just turned around and said, Oh, we've moved on. We've evolved past our old instincts and blah, blah, blah. So basically she just told me that she did. Do you work here? That would be a stupid question. Let's just say goodbye. Um, now we have to go and talk to Mortimer. That's stuff that we had to do. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. Good day. How may I be of service, sir? Uh, let's see here. Um, Marjorie said that you gave a free room to the private investigator. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry... Have you found something that will help his investigation? Actually, I just need to speak with him. Of course, of course. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. All right, so we got the investigate investigator's key. That's good. Um, I see here. I've heard your group used to eat human flesh. <gasps> ah, yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. So it isn't true? I can assure you that the only thing the White Glove Society is guilty of is preparing the tastiest cuisine you'll ever sample. That is, of course... If you can afford it. Hmm. Alright. So now we've got to go it find that strange. investigator. But something doesn't like seem right. Only brought bad luck. Uh, I guess we got to go. Oh, we went the wrong way. I just realized that my health was pretty much halfway too. I guess I gotta fix that as well. Okay, uh, I think you said we have to go upstairs, so let's go upstairs here. And it should be. Oh, wait. Oh, use key. Here it is, right here. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, goddamn. Jay Burns. So this guy got destroyed in here. Uh, that's not very good. Let's close this door. Um, oh man. Um, looks like there's some books. It says investigate the room. Another pre-war book. Um, let's see here. Wardrobe. Nothing in there. Hmm. It's probably going to be on hit. Oh, wait. Bathroom. Toilet. Um, 
we got a South Barilla, so it doesn't look too, too crazy. Um, can we look under the bed? No. Alright, let's check his body then. Matchbook. Alright, search the investigator for clues. Meet with the investigator's contact at the Ultra Lux room at 4 o'clock. Okay, can I read the... Why is it so quiet? Okay, my sound went off again. Okay, apparently there's no sound for some reason now. That's really weird. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Oh. All right, well, let's, uh, I guess we're going to have to go here. Okay, so basically what happened is so the game crashed. Um, so I reloaded. I was wondering why things weren't really going as smoothly as they should, um, and especially with the sound as well. But the one thing I did notice is that something happened that was supposed to happen. So I reloaded it and I redid it. When you come in here and you actually search this guy, what's actually supposed to happen, which you'll notice, is hey. white. Actually, you actually have white glove society guys that actually attack you, um, and. This is kind of weird that basically the white glove guys would attack you, and I don't understand why they would want to attack me. So I'm just trying to help them, so obviously, obviously something's up. So let's just put our desert armor on, and, uh, you know, maybe we can- Hey, look at the teddy bear. Teddy bear, I want that teddy bear. Oh god, I'm getting, uh, spanked up here. Um, apparently I don't have any health. And, what? You have none. So apparently I gotta punch these guys. That's not great. I do apologize if you hear banging in the background. The people upstairs are very annoying. Um, and they always like bang things or drop things or whatever. It's just very, very annoying. Um, yeah, so I guess... How am I gonna do this? Um... I want that bear though. Do yeah. that. Oh god. Oh, health box. Ah, let me. Oh my god, I'm. I'm gonna die. And empty syringe. Oh my god. <coughs> Close the door. Wait, do I have a stealth boy on me? I may have a stealth boy on me. I hope I do. I do. Thank the Lord. Jesus. Yeah, so they have, they have no idea where I am. So yeah, so this is what was supposed to happen. Um, okay. So, uh, now we gotta sneak out of here. Without these white glove, you know, bitches seeing us. Um, yeah, cause we're basically dead and that's not good. I guess we could check these other room. Wait, what? Bon Viant Suite, that's okay. Um, open door. Do any of these rooms have anything that I could use as a weapon to help? Probably not. Yeah, I think it's just the white glove guys that have weapons. So let's, uh, you know, go where we're supposed to go here. So let's save this up right here. Okay, so this is the pool. Yeah. Alright. So this is one of actually my favorite uh, rooms in the hotel. It's like of all the hotels in Vegas. Um, like I love this place. Bitter Springs. A name like that could have only brought bad luck. Oh yeah, I'm like, why am I invisible? I forgot I haven't... The um, thing hasn't worn off. There we go. There we go. We just gonna like swim in the pool, have some fun, you know. We apparently we can't go under. I guess it's too deep to go under. Um, can we drink the water? No, apparently it's red, so apparently it's bad to drink the water. I mean, well, I would assume it would be out of order. Okay. Um, so you can't buy anything. Oh wait, I think there's someone over there. Maybe we can buy some drinks unless this is out of order too. 
Hey. What's up, homie? All right. Um, refrigerator. Oh, we can drink here. Oh, two ra or two health. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's not that's not going to help us. Um, yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I don't usually like stealing, but I mean it's life or death to be honest, and I really don't feel like dying. Oh, that's all beer, so I don't need that stuff. Okay, um, so let's have our uh, drinks here. Um, where'd they go? Right here. I think they stack, I'm pretty sure they do. Okay, so our house is going up now, that's good. Oh, we gotta go on this side. Um, and then we gotta talk to an investigator or something back here in the one of the rooms here um in this room yeah in the steam room here what's this eyeglasses hat i wish the hats didn't um you know i wish they didn't clip through wesker's hair because that would be it'd be pretty cool if they didn't but uh, anyway so let's save this up here Oh, I thought there was a load room. I guess not. Um, another thing for two health. Oh, right. Um, I think we have to... I think, yeah, 4 p.m. is what they said. Um, so let's just kind of chill out, I guess. Oh, oh, we, oh, we can sit on the bench. Awesome. Okay, so let's just wait until 4 o'clock. I don't even know when that is. So I'm just going to wait. Hmm... Oh, that's a.m. Whoops, I almost got out of it. Okay, uh, let's see, 7 a.m. So 7, so that'd be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, hopefully this works. All right, so now we have to talk to the guy back here. No, he's not here. Maybe we... Um... the hell? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. That's him there. So we just gotta wait for him to go into the back room there. Close that up. And we'll talk to this guy here. Who are you? Uh, let's see here. Just uh, see, I'm looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? Uh, he's dead. Oh my goodness me! They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. What were we supposed to discuss here? The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Oh really? How do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back. Started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So Mortimer is behind the disappearances. Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Hmm. What about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, He's going to do it in secret. 
After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer, Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Oh, well, Ted's father is a very wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Where are they keeping, Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Okay, okay, interesting. Uh, is there anything you can do to help me get in? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Interesting. Okay. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait. Did you hear something? Were you followed? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's an assassini. We have to beat up the assassini. Wait a minute. Does Mortimer have... Or not Mortimer. Oh, shit. He only has that. Oh, God. Ah! This is going to take forever. Should have it's not my weapons in. This one I'm in so much faster. Oh, if I punch his head, apparently it goes a bit faster. Well, I thought that it would be critical hits or something, but I guess not. So what do you gonna have? Let's see here. Doctor Bag. So yeah, he's probably gonna win this fight. Oh god, yeah. Ah, run away! Run away from the asses. Oh god, I'm caught. I'm stuck. Oh shit, oh shit. Well, he wouldn't shoot me out in the open, would he? 
Apparently what? People are literally running away. Fun. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could reload like Ultralux, Ultralux, it's, you know, for, um, so it's not that far away. I could reload Ultralux Casino floor. You know what I might actually, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I'm actually going to reload this. Um, do all this crap again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do holdout weapons. Because um, basically you need high, I think it's high sneak or something. So we need to leave the casino, come back. And then we can just kind of like sneak our guns in by like, oh yeah, we can hold them out. A holdout gun. Basically a holdout weapon is basically something that you can hide and you can smuggle into the casino. Um, and my Samurai Edge has a silencer on it so they wouldn't be able to even hear me shoot it off. Um, so if we can do that, it would make things a gajillion times easier. So let's just try this here to save this up. Okay, so now, obviously, we're just going to save it again. Okay. And then they're going to be like, oh, give us your weapons, blah, blah, blah. And then I can just be like, hold out weapons or something like that. Beg your pardon. Can I trouble you? Okay, you're sneak 50. Here you go, blah, blah, blah. He's going to be like, okay. Um, so, let's see, what, do I even have any? Okay, so I have the Chinese pistol. Shit, man. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, um. Hello there. Okay, so we gotta be. Qu I don't know why I was gonna say we have to be quick about this, but we don't really. Um. Because I think we already talked to her, I believe. Gourmand. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we have to talk to her again. And then we have to talk to Mortimer again. And then. So we're not that far away. Okay. Welcome to the Ultra Blah 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 blah. Looking for someone. Blah blah blah. Um. Yeah, I'm already talked to him, and we already we did this one as well. And okay. All right, now we gotta talk to this, you know, guy here. We know he's a bad guy already from our previous uh, talks with the other guy. How may I be of service, sir? Uh, let's see here, uh, private room, I need to talk to him, uh, human flesh, so it isn't true, and then we just kind of go like that, and you're right. Um, <clears throat> and now we just need to go back upstairs and stuff. The are running for their lives. That'll show everyone. Of course they are. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta go upstairs. Go in here. Bad guys are gonna come. So now I can take the pistol out. Come on, bitches, let's go. Oh god, reload so slow. Ah. So as you can see, the Chinese pistol isn't definitely the strongest weapon. I know I said this in a previous episode already, but um, the Chinese pistol is actually the weakest uh, handgun in Fallout 3. It's like one of the first handguns you get outside in the wasteland, because um, you get the... Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Oh, they might actually win this fight. Okay, that's one guy down. 
Your weapon is in dangerous condition. Okay, so I knocked his thing down, so that's good. Wait, where'd he go? Did he run off? Oh, he's right. Oh, he picked up the other guys. Oh, shit. Ah! Try not to hit any, uh... What do you call it? I don't want to hit any uh, guests or anything. Holy hell, man. Alright, so I got white gloves to side the attire. This person's, like, you know, really scared. I don't blame them. Um, okay. Fix the cane. Take, uh, let's see here. Take the gun off. Oh, man. So we got Stealth Boy. That's good. Um, they say it's safer to travel now. The fiends are retreating. So I wonder if I can use any of these beds. No. Okay, so maybe I can use this guy's bed. I have no idea. No. Can I not use any bed? Oh yeah, I forgot. I need the teddy bear. Wow. And oh, we got stim packs and everything. Awesome. How did you not see that? Anyways, um, okay, cool. Full health, sweet. Let's just kind of move these guys into uh, the investigator's room because uh, you know you don't want guests seeing you know dead people, right? I'm just going to make it look like they had a battle. Man, look at all that blood. God damn. Oh boy. Wow. Alright, let's go. And this is bathhouse. I still say this is really cool. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to go the other way around. And then we gotta wait for like what? Um, oh wait, would he still be in here? Maybe. Yeah, he's still in here. Okay, good. Who are you? Who are you? You first. Uh, he's dead. What are you afraid of? Mortar for... Blah, 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 blah. What about Ten Gunderson? Okay. And then he gets dead. <gasps> And now this guy's gonna get dead. What's up, assassini guy? Holy shit, he's firing fast as hell. I was kinda hoping it'd be a silent weapon. Like, I was hoping that, you know, a samurai edge would, uh, be count as a holdout weapon, but I guess not. Oh well. All right, so we're done this part now. Finally, that's good. Silence 22 pistol, which is absolutely garbage. And it's broken. What the hell? Okay. Um, okay, so let's take the Chinese pistol off. Yeah, the senior didn't do his job. Should have bet we killed the fiend's leader. All right. Um, okay, so what do we have to do? Let's see here. Um, so we have them optional things here. Optional: find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. Find a way to gain access to the members only. Get Ted back to his father. Um, find a sponsor to get you inside the white gloves. Is that, so let's do that. Let's pretend to be one of them. What time is it? Six o'clock. Hey, Mortimer, get your ass back here. Yo. How may I be of service, sir? Yo, I want to be one of your people. I want to join. 
Just thought I would have told I needed sponsor. Mm. You'll have to look elsewhere, I'm afraid. The whole idea of joining the White Glove Society is pure hogwash. You're either in it or you're not. There's no joining. This honorary member nonsense is just something Marjorie contrived because she's so preoccupied with image. But it's only a fad. Once it blows over, the riffraff we've temporarily inducted will be shown the door. So I wouldn't hold out hope if I were you. Well. Fuck you too, bud. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Alright, let's go talk to her then. I can't remember how to get to her. Um... Oh yeah, this way. The Gourmand. Alright, let's talk to you. Welcome to the Ultra... Uh, let's see here, want to join? Why yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. Oh yeah? It's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club, who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone, who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists, we want only the very best. And you most certainly fit the bill. Given your deeds on the strip alone, I can safely say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. You have my full support, and you are welcome to join us at our nightly banquets in our special section of the Gourmand. I hope to see you there. Awesome. So now we're part of the White Glove Society. Yes, mighty fine. Um, White Glove Society, yes. You're not, oh, wait. So the White Glove Society is literally just, you're now dressed as White Glove Society. That's so creepy. Jesus. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, um, we should okay, find a way into the members only section of the command. Okay, so because I'm a white glove society now, I should hopefully be able to uh, get in there now with no real problems. Hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna save this up here. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Positively famished. You can't have that. Oh, so basically, I think the game messed up again. What can I get you? Blah, blah, blah. Ultra Lux Kitchen. How the hell? Yep, so there's no sound again. Okay, cool. Um. Why is it not? There we go. Alright, so now we have to go to the kitchen. That's where we're going now. Find a way to access the members only section of the command. And I think that's what we've done right now. Optional. Find a way. Yep, yeah, we did that. Uh, see, get Ted back to his father alive. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Um, so we have to talk to the main chef, Philippe, and uh, there's some other, there's some interesting ways we can do this. Um, so this guy here is going to come and talk to us, though. So. You, what do you think you're doing? Uh, let's see here, just passing through, you can't do that, you can't do any of that. So we have to do 55 here. Mortimer sent me to move the kid, he thinks one of his own might betray him. First he's too trusting, now he doesn't trust any of us. That addles the sense. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. Well, that's true. All right, so now we're going to go talk to uh, Philippe, the chef guy. Uh, he's just down here. Come in here, and we talk to him now. Greeting. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. 
who do you think you're talking to? Or, uh, oh, yeah, who do you think you're talking to, talking to me that way? Who do... Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. No, no, Ooh. that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. <laughs> do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. <laughs> wow, what an asshole. Anyways, I think you may have confused me with someone else. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server? You predisposition, predisposition towards, you know, anger, unresolved, blah, 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 I can't even read, whatever that says there. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people, and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. You may, you may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could you do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. What about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. They won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Oh, boy. Well, then. We, uh... Well, I guess we got him to, uh, we got him to leave, that's for sure. Oof. Um, okay, so he's here. So we can click the cook button, but it doesn't really do anything. If we open the refrigerator there, we got to find his recipes, which I don't know where they are. Um, miscellaneous. Oh, there's a stack of handwritten recipes, obviously experimental, with many sections crossed out and notes scribbled in the margins. One of them that seems to have gone through the most revision called Sweet Veil. Vale. However, the notes indicate a desire to make it taste not like veil, vale, but human flesh. Okay. Um, alright. So we do need some health. Um, let's see... Is that the only health box in here? It's gotta be another one. Guess not. Um, pantry access terminal, so we're already back here, that's good. Um, let's see here. Okay, what's in this door? Oh, this is like the freezer, I guess. So I know that he's back there. Uh, Gunderson's son is back there, that's for sure. Um, we got a bunch of nuka colis and, and all that crap back here as well. Um, the only thing I can really think of is to do the wine. Because um, I'm not sure how to do the food one. Open oven and cook. Because <sighs> it doesn't say what we need. Matchbook, steam room, um... Sweet veil, however, the notes indicate human flesh. Okay, yeah, so I don't know how to do that though. Um, because usually when you click cook, it'll pop up and it'll say what you need, but for some reason it's not doing that, and I don't know why, which is really weird. Um, I don't know what happens if I get grab all the food. I guess we'll see what happens here. Dog meat, uh, maize, noodles. Oh wait, what the fuck is this? Ah, Brown Wellington. There we go. Or oh, no. okay, hold on. Um, this recipe allows you to make Brown Wellington. Okay, well it's not letting me um okay spatulas you're still drove oh hold on wine uh these wines are these wines are set up to be taken by servers out to the banquet okay medics removed 
Um, okay, so let's still try the food though. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Pork and beans, fresh apples. And yes, I realize I'm technically stealing food, but I'm gonna try and cook it though, so we'll see what happens here. Um, Barrel cactus fruit. More barrel cactus fruit, muddy fruit, or mud fruit, however you say it, fresh potatoes. Um, I thought there was like fresh meat somewhere though. Unless I'm wrong. Um, what's this? Fresh pear? We'll just grab this stuff. And then we'll just drop it after. Okay. Okay. Now let's see if we can do anything with the cooking now. So I'll just kind of help me. How may, how I, may I assist? Okay. How may I assist? Okay. So he's gonna do that. Apparently, we still can't cook, which is kind of annoying. What the heck? So are you gonna come and grab the wine now, buddy? The sooner you find yourself elsewhere okay, he is coming to grab the wine, good. Steal drugged wine. No, nope, don't wanna do that. Okay, um, so there's that. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure how to do the, um, not sure how to do the food, um, because there's a way that you can get them to eat it, and it tastes like human flesh, like they said, and, um, you know, kind of like, I think his name was Chaffrey, I can't remember his name, he said to bring him out and surprise them all, but I'm not sure how to do that, though. Leave me alone, haven't you done enough? Let's see here. Uh, I'm just here to talk business. Interested in putting out a cookbook. What, me? The supreme ruler of the Nevada dining scene? Teach some low-life halfwits how to make food that doesn't smell like burning excrement? Do you think it would sell? It'd be huge. I'll, adva I'll advance you 100 caps uh, plus half the gross. Yes, we're a major publisher, but as a sign of good faith, I'll need recipes. You're pushing your luck. Here, I have a few copies on me. This better be good enough. We're gonna have a real problem if this thing isn't a hit. Okay, so hopefully now uh, I should be able to do some cooking stuff. Okay, I see your handwritten recipes, matchbook. Okay, apparently we still can't. I I don't understand why, but apparently we still can't. Uh, unless you can only do one. Hmm, I don't get it. Leave me alone. Haven't you done, done enough already? Uh, nah. No. Okay. So whatever, I guess. Oh man. Okay. Um. I really don't know. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Um. I didn't really want to do it this way, Prim but a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Is he just gonna walk out? Yo. My daddy's gonna kill all you Calm down. Got um Okay, so he's basically just like, okay, I'll follow you, and that's good. Gunderson. Okay, so I don't know how we're gonna get out of this. Ah, <sighs> boy. Um. Okay, we got some knives. Chinese pistol. Okay, I have no idea what plus P means. Hopefully, it means more damage, but I don't even know. 
Um, okay, so this is the bathroom. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Nope, nope, nope. Oh fuck, ah, Ted, Ted get in here. That was terrifying, I thought he was gonna get me. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh wait, we can take the elevator, can't we? Ha ha, bitches, alright. Oh god. Oh man, this is terrifying. Woo we I don't know how they didn't see me. I have no idea how they didn't see me. That would scare and you're not even crouching, you're just like yo, I'm just gonna hang out. Um alright, so let's save this here. I wow. They should have seen me. Um because the other times that I've done this quest um, from getting him out. Um, usually what happens is I'll be sneaking around the corner and then, you know, they turn around and they use their flamethrowers at me and it's not a good time. I've done it the other ways before, but I honestly can't remember how to do it. Um, I don't know what good the drug and the wine does. I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure. But, uh, alright, let's just do this here. Okay, so now that we have them out in the open, they shouldn't really attack me. Yeah, I'm still dressed as a white glove member. Okay, good. Um, so now I basically just gotta get out of here now. Should have bet we'd kill the fiends leader. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go. Marjorie's gone. That's weird. What time is it? Oh, well, it's ten o'clock at night. Um, that would be why. Okay. Um, again, let's save it here. Okay. And now we can just be like, hey, um, found your kid. Alright, let's go. Uh, we gotta go this way. And he's gone too. Very, very good. Wonder if you can still expose the family after you give him back to his son. I can't remember. There's Gunderson right there. Greetings. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Uh, you can blame the White, Gly white Glove Society. They're all cannibals. They're with Mortimer. Uh, one of the white gloves who had ten, uh, Ted, he's a cannibal of lie. I don't know who took him, I just found him. I'm gonna do that one, to be honest, because you don't want to start a giant war on the strip, and you, you don't want to cause anything really crazy, because it's gonna cause an uproar, and, well, you know, it's just not good for the strip in general, not just this casino alone. Um, so let's just say, you know what, we just found him. Confound it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to sleep, knowing whoever done this got away. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. All right, so we're liked by this strip. That's a good thing. And we also have some fame with the White Glove Society. So let's see if we can still do some work with them. So it is pretty late at night. It's about uh, 11 p.m. So let's just wait a couple hours here. Have a drink. Ah. Boop. And it is 3 p.m. Okay, so we should be able to talk to some other people. Let's see if we can talk to Mortimer and see what he says. There he is there. Oh, is he going to come to the desk? He... We kill the fiends there we go. How may I be of service, sir? Uh, do you have any work that needs to be done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. 
Okay. Well, that's kind of weird. Um, oh, wait a minute. I think... Hold on. How may I be of service, sir? Because you got to convince him. Ah. Uh, so it isn't true. I heard... Uh, not with you. Okay. Um, crap. I can't remember. I think we have to talk to Marjorie, too. Because um, I know there is a way to do jobs for them as well. Because there's like a whole quest line for them. And, like, I can't even... Can't remember how to do it. Welcome to the Ultra... Okay. Um, it's okay, I you people, too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust me. How dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment? I ought to have you arrested. You'll kindly mind your tongue, or we shan't speak any further. Oof. Ta-ta. Well then, okay. Um, so maybe we got locked out of the quest. Maybe we can't do it. I'm, I don't know. Um. Salute. You look positively famished. We simply can't have that. Let's see, what do you have for sale? Um, wasteland, omelet. Oh, man. Seven hit points for, you know, every one minute. That's not good. Um, yeah, none of that looks good. Can we sell anything to him? I don't even know if I have anything. Well, I don't even care about that pistol. Um, he can have that. Pleasure. Okay, so I guess we can't do uh, the rest of the White Glove Society stuff. Um, that fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great... Because long story short, they actually are cannibals and um, do the whole entire quest line. But I think you need to um, side with them when you first learn about uh, Ted. So, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do that. Because there's a whole thing where you go out and you find someone... And you like drug them and you put them in a, in a dumpster and the White Glove Society people uh, come and collect this guy and blah blah blah. And then there's like, you know, you can go have dinner with them and, and all that kind of stuff. But I think because we helped um, Heck Gunderson, I believe that we can't do that anymore. Um, but cannibals aren't very good anyway because, well... You know, it's 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 not good, especially when they're grabbing people off the strip and stuff. Um, I mean, realistically, I don't not that I agree with it or anything, but in this certain kind of circumstances with the wasteland and all that kind of stuff, um, I mean, it's plentiful food. I mean, there's people everywhere. Um, I mean, society's starting to regrow. Um, plants and animals and stuff are irradi irradiated and if you don't have the proper ways to cook them of course you're gonna get sick so I mean realistically lots of people would probably turn to uh, that sort of stuff um, so I mean realistically there would be probably a lot of that going on obviously like I said I don't agree with it but let's go on to the strip let's see what's going on on the strip Okay, well, apparently I'm over encumbered, and I don't understand why. Um, it could be because we got our guns back and stuff, I guess. Um, okay, one, 308 out of 270. Um, oh, okay, so it's all our food that we grabbed there, and we'll just eat all this crap up. People looking at us on the strip are like, oh my god, look at them. You know, you could like see like the character just kind of like we're literally grabbing everything and just going like, rah, 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 rah. and they're probably like, oh god, <laughs> oh jeez. Um, I just picture that; it'd be hilarious. Um, okay, I don't really like drinking the alcohol and stuff, um, because you know, our character isn't a alcoholic. Now I do have two plans that I want to do. I don't know which one which one I'm going to do uh, next. Because I don't want to end the episode just yet, to be honest. Um, so, like, down here, we have Michelangelo's, and he does pictures and stuff, and it's, it's pretty interesting, because you have to take pictures um, of landmarks around the wasteland, and it's pretty fun. Um, there's another one. Where is it? Um, 
So Vault 21, this one's actually pretty funny. So this is, well, I mean, it's funny, but I had like a kind of like a tragic backstory, if you want to call it tragic. Um, so this one here, if you guys remember, we've been collecting the leather vault outfits and all that. Um, and the reason for that is actually, I think we're going to try and do that because it doesn't take very long to do that. Uh, so let's actually save this up here. Um, so the reason for collecting the vault outfits is actually because there's someone who works at Vault 21. It's a vault that was turned into a uh, hotel and the person there likes leather. Um, it excites her, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, and if you give her 30 pieces of leather, like 30 uh, jump leather jumpsuits uh, for like the vault suits, um, you get to have happy time with her, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, so we're going to go to Novak here, because we already saved it. Um, there's the map, we're looking for it. So we're going to go to Novak here, wherever it is over here, and get the 30 outfits, and uh, we're going to have happy time with uh, Sarah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, and we're here and we're moving slow again. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. Okay, we'll just drink another. Oh, apparently, drinking doesn't help. Uh, how are we all encumbered still? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever that worth, I guess, anyway. I didn't mean to drink that other one. South Barella I did, but I didn't mean to do the other one. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, oh man, that bear fell down. Maybe he tried to escape or something. He's like, there's so many bears, oh my god, I gotta get out of here. And then we have, like, the overlord, overlord bear here, who's, like, watching over everyone. You know, making sure everyone's all right. You know, you got uh, drunk bear, and you got embarrassed wife bear, who hopes that nobody uh, notices drunk bear. <laughs> um, and then we got lonely bear here. Um, so I want to try and find another bear for him. Luckily enough, we do have one other bear here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm kind of sleepy. Oh, we got two bears. That's interesting. Um, so let's move this guy over a bit, so he's not so lonely by himself. All right, kind of push him back, move him over a little bit. No, we nah. okay. Um, let's drop. What the hell? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean. I thought the bear was a tin can. I was like, um, okay. Anyway, let's just. Oh my! What the hell? Is he bigger than the other ones? No, what the hell? Am I seeing things? Let's look at this bear. That bear is just kind of <laughs> chilling. It's so funny seeing him in the background. Um, he got these ones here. He looks bigger. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. He does look bigger. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it's just... Because I'm standing up or something, I don't even know. Anyway, let's put him beside this bear here. Come on, turn around. Here we go. What the heck? He is bigger. That is so weird. I didn't think there were any bigger bears in Vegas. I know in Fallout 3, there's uh, one, two... Three, I think there's like four, four big ba uh, big bears, um, and I think I explained this before. But there's bigger ones, um, like there's a really big one that you're not even supposed to be able to get. It's actually behind a boarded up door, um, and you have to have to like glitch your way to get it. Um, if we do Fallout Three, depending on how it runs, because Fallout Three is admittedly pretty um, pretty broken on uh, you know Vegas or. I can't even talk today. Um, Fallout 3 is very... Um, it's not very stable on Windows 10. Um, so, like, especially if you're running mods to make it look a bit better. 
or a weather mods for like rain or whatever like even and even if you don't have any mods you say you just want to play it straight up um you know i've had it crash a bit it's actually funny to be honest um i find that fallout 3 is more stable on the ps3 than it is the pc and i know people who play pc will probably be like well that's not true and blah 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 you know go get yourself a playstation 3 Go get yourself a Game of the Year edition of Fallout 3. Go play it on that. You know, and then come back and, and tell me how many crashes and stuff you have. Vegas, on the other hand, Vegas is not stable on, on the PS3. Um, like, there's, um, let's see here. I'm going to grab some stuff to sell, sell some stuff while we're talking. Oh, I got doubles of weapons here. Um, yeah, New Vegas um, is not not stable on the PS3 um, you know so like <clears throat> I only got two five mans as well um, and a Gatling laser I didn't even know I had all these to be honest I know we dropped a bunch of stuff off but and I know I'm jumping all over the place a um, bunch of this sorry about that um, yeah so like if you go to places like uh, McCarran and then you go to like uh, the Great Cons, which we haven't gone there yet. Eventually we will. Um, but if you go to two, like Bit not Bitter Springs, uh, Red Rock Canyon for the Great Cons, and then if you go to, um, wow, um, damn it, I can't. I just said the name of it. Uh, McCarran Airport and the Strip and stuff like that. Um, it has a lot of memory issues that uh, prop up and the game will literally just bog down and it's just it's sometimes it gets <coughs> almost unbearable where it won't freeze your PlayStation but you'll definitely definitely have to restart it um, because it becomes unplayable and it's just crazy to be honest um, but like I said Fallout 3 on the other hand Never, well, I can't say I've never had a problem. I mean, Fallout 3 has froze and it has crashed on uh, the PS3. But it's very rare. It's very rare that I've had Fallout 3 crash. Um, even recording these videos, um, Vegas crashes, honestly, every episode that I've made. I've, with the exception of maybe one or two, um, you know, the game has always crashed. I've never had a full non-crash recording um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, actually, I can. Uh, where is it? That I can put that in there. Actually, oh yes, right. I was gonna put the gun runner things in the other box. Um, and we have all this stuff already. I know there was some stuff that was doubles. Let's just throw everything in here. Just drop all our guns in here. We'll just do like a quick. Thing here and then we'll see here um, okay so first off let's grab our special guns anything that has like a, um, a dinner bell like a special name or like GRA beside it anything like that um, microwave emitter I think that was added from the Fallout 3 mod. I have a mod that adds Fallout 3 weapons, so like the Chinese pistol and the Chinese assault rifle and stuff, um, they're actually from Fallout 3. They're not actually in Vegas. Um, I think that's it. Okay, so let's drop these off. Whoop. And let's go and grab our doubles now. Do, 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 do. We can fix that. Oh, I got two hunting rifles. I didn't even know that. Two knives. So the hunting rifles, I at least I know I can um, sell them. Okay. Okay. Oh, new trial. Trial, trail uh, carbines. Okay. Uh, carbines, hunting rifle, knife, and I think 
Oh, and the Chinese pistol. So, okay. So the only things we're putting back is that and that. And I'm pretty sure the rest are things that we're selling. Um, okay. So, okay, let's fix this guy. He fell off the bed before we even do anything. All right, fix this guy. Put him back on the bed. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay. It's still weird that he's much bigger. I honestly didn't expect that. Okay. Um, what time is it? Let's take a look. It's 11. Oh, it's basically nighttime. 11 p.m. So let's take a big, big nap. And then we're going to go talk to Cliff Briscoe. And then I grab the leather outfits and then go back to the uh, strip. Okay, so let's go over here. And we have 10, 20, 30, 3, 4, 5, 35. I don't know if she takes the utility, so we'll just take these ones. Um, I know you need, I think, repair. A very high repair skill for her to take the uh, boomer outfits. So, um, let's save this here. All right. Good old Cliff Briscoe. He's one of the first people, like, if, you know, people are talking about New Vegas or whatever, or, like, if a thought pops in my head for New Vegas, uh, Cliff Briscoe and Veronica are, like, the two that pop in my head. Welcome back. Can All right. Sure thing. Have a look. Okay, so we're going to sell you. Holy shit. Maybe I won't sell that. And the thermic lance. Okay, so maybe yeah, we're not gonna sell that because that's a lot of caps, and he don't have that much caps. Um, okay, do you have any ammo? Oh, he has a lot of ammo. Um, forty-five. I miss using the forty-five machine gun to be honest. Charge pack. We're definitely gonna want them. I wish, so he doesn't have any, what do you call it, 10 millimeter ammo. That kind of sucks. Um, what health do you have, aid? Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, so that's useful for me. I want that too, and I want those and that water. Um, and I, oh wait, what's this? Tranks plus four, yeah, no. So I guess that's all we're grabbing from him then. Unless he has like some like metal. I know he has upgrade weapon upgrade sometimes. And yeah, katana. So there is a katana in this game. That was not a mod, believe it or not. The katana, the sword, is actually in the Gunrunners uh, DLC. You can actually get a sword in this game. So if you're doing like a melee build or like an assassin build or anything you can get it it's pretty powerful that's that's for sure um and it's pretty lightweight if i remember correctly and it's you can swing it pretty fast i'll buy the upgrades um i don't we haven't actually come across a katana to buy um which is kind of weird um but wait he has red glare upgrades i thought you could only get those and um in the divide. Weird. Um, laser rifle focus. Try be oh, what? We're getting that. I sold that. I didn't mean to sell that. So this thing here that I just got the where is it? Uh, Oh, it'd be miscellaneous items, I think. Where did it go? Right here. So this thing, so that, so that thing there, what it actually does, it's actually pretty cool. Um, every, I think it's every five minutes in-game, your character will take a drink from it. 
Um, like, with no animation, but with it being in the item, or with it being in the, uh, in your inventory, what actually happens is your character will take a drink. And I think, um, I can't remember the percentage, but every time your character takes a drink, it actually fills your health up a bit. Um, so technically, you have, I don't want to say infinite health, because, like, it's, your character doesn't drink it enough, and it doesn't, and it's not enough health to actually, like, fill your health all the way up or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you could wait. You could have that in inventory and probably wait, like, 24 hours or something. And I would assume that your health would go up. Unless it only works uh, when you're actually playing the game. Because I know it says you've taken a drink of your current canteen or something in the top corner. And your health does go up. It's either, like, 2 or 5 hit points or something... It's nothing super crazy high, I know that, but um, that also comes with the Gunrunners add-on, I believe, or the Tribal Pack or something. I can't remember exactly which, which one, because um, there's a bunch of starter packs that you can get. There's like the Tribal Pack, uh, there's like the Raider Pack, and like the Vault Pack, because I can't even remember exactly where they are. It's been so long. Um, actually, I think you can check right in the menu, can't you? No. I think you actually have to... Okay, so let's say we actually go to the main menu. Good thing, I think it tells you in the main menu. I know Fallout 4 does. And I know <clears throat> Fallout 3 is DLC, or Fallout 3 on the PS3 does. It might. Let's just take a quick look real quick. Uh, yeah, downloadable content. Here we go. Um, so you have, so the classic pack, um, which gives you the pistol and a couple other things, the mercenary pack, I'm not sure, tribal pack, and the caravan pack. I believe the caravan pack is the one that gives you the, um, the canteen. Anyway, let's go back into the game here. I just honestly couldn't remember. Doop-a-doop-a-doo, doop doo doo Okay, so now we're going to leave here and, um, yeah, go back and grab those vault suits. Okay, so you probably also noticed, um, that I look a lot smaller in the corner. Um, that looked really big, and when I looked at Wesker, like, you couldn't even see anything. Um, like, hopefully you can see a bit better now. Um, and so I ended up selling you some other stuff, too. Um, there's a bunch of stuff we didn't need, you know, like garbage stuff, whatever, so I sold them too. Um, so let's put on... Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, you are not... Okay, never mind. It basically just said I wasn't White Glove Society. I was confused for a minute. Okay, so let's actually, um, go and grab these leather outfits now. Okay, so we should have enough room, um... Yeah, we have enough room. Okay, so um, so we have to drop another teddy bear down. I'm not too sure where I want to put him. Um, maybe I'll put him on the shelf here. Let's see if I can. It might be an invisible wall. I don't know. Uh, teddy bear. Oh yeah, we also have to put the uh, those laser sights or whatever on it too. Let's see. It's an invisible wall. No, it's not. Wow. Okay. Well then. Interest. Oh, yes, it is. Bah. As you can see, so that's why it's not flat. It's it's literally... Yeah, okay. Well, on the bed you go. Wee. Boop. Okay. Grab you, and you, and you. And we look pretty good, I'd say. Alright. Um, okay, so we need to do... Laser, dry beam, laser focus, whatever. Um, oh, excuse me. Let's go down to the bottom here. Dry beam, laser rifle. Nothing is pretty cool. Although it does use a lot of ammo. I mean, let's be honest. Because I think it's three shots. Because we got 21, eight, so 18. That's 15. Yeah, I had to think in my head for a second. So, yeah. Um,. So if we use this, whoops, wrong button. 
my... Don't tell me it's Gunrunner's one. Don't tell me about the Gunrunner's one. Uh, God. And I did. Ugh. Whatever. Oh. Well, doesn't matter. No sense of getting no whatever about it. So let's drop that. Definitely drop that. And we're going to need some guns here. I want Samurai Edge, because we're Wesker, of course. Um, I kind of want this, but I don't... Oh, I just laser rifle. I meant this one here. Oh, wrong one. It shouldn't be in there. Um, we definitely want that. Okay. And then we're going to drop you in there. Um, oh, I have two battle rifles? Okay. I didn't know that. We definitely want a material rifle. I definitely got to put that in there. Um, that trying to need the assault rifle for sure. We haven't even been using it. Um, where is... I don't know if the red glare would be good against the Legion. But that's 20 weight that we don't need to take up. I know this thing is at least pretty good against them. So we'll take that with us. Brittle wood. At least I have that because I thought we would lose out on that. But I forgot that we bought that. Thumb thumb's pretty good. Smitty's special. And why? Okay. So. Okay. We should be okay now. Save this up here. Um, I can't remember if I dropped off. No, I didn't. Um, okay, so you can go, and you can go, and you can go in there. We're going to put those back in the box. Um, let's see here. That can go in there. So, we have that. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do... It, wait, what? What the hell? How? That makes no sense. I mean, it's got, it got really cloudy all of a sudden. It's probably going to rain now. Um, uh, died. Okay. I'm probably going to reload that and probably look into that. I'm going to look into that. And then I will see you guys in a few minutes. You're not going to notice anything. But I'm going to look into that. That quest was very important for later on. Uh, to help us in the final battle. Um, I've never ever had that fail out of nowhere before. Um, because that quest requires... Um, what's his name? Um... Ganon. Ganon, yeah. Um, that's weird. Yeah, I'm gonna look into that. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. Probably a few seconds for you guys, but I will see you guys in a millisecond. Okay, so I figured it out. Basically what happened was, so Daisy Whitman died. Um, she is somewhere. I don't know where she went. She basically goes back, back and forth between here and in her apartment here. Uh, if we go in here, she should be in here. Yeah, so she's right here. This is her here. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Okay, so she's the one who died. We need we need her for later on. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say which is what, um, but that's for sure. So. I figured out what it was though, uh, so she died because I had, so the mod, there's a mod that I had on that basically makes the world more active, that adds more people and stuff like that. Um, so that's why, like you, you won't see, like until we finish up the quest with them, I'm going to leave it off, so you won't see any really like patrolling, um, you know, caravan guards, you won't see any random brotherhood guys or anything like that for now, um, 
you know, like, we'll still see the settlers and stuff and the people who live here, um, but you won't see, like, the random people and stuff. Or, like, the jackal people, um, you know, attacking the town and all that stuff because they were part of, like, random encounters and it made the world, you know, a bit more interesting and stuff. Um, but I had to turn it off because, you know, Daisy Whitman, she ran out and she got herself killed. I ran around the whole entire area and I couldn't find her, so I didn't know where she went. Um, this guy gets got a really different color. Um... Yeah, I still have the the weather weather mod on. I missed the rain. I want it to rain again. Um, anyways, so I have the jumpsuit like I said before. Let's uh, save this up here. And uh, let's go uh, get some fun time stuff from uh, Sarah at the uh, Vault 21 Casino. Alright, so as you can see, we're at this strip now. And... Uh, we have to go to a place way down there, as we can see, Vault 21. Lively, lively place here. We got uh, people all over the place, and... Oh man, oh, I think this person sells water. Howdy. Int uh, do you work for casinos? Nope. Strictly independent. Well, kind of independent. To vend anything here on the Strip, you gotta register with one of those police robots and sign a franchisee agreement. At the end of each day, you keep half of what you made. The rest you hand over to those bots. And they know if you're cheating. <clears throat> so Mr. House gets half of each day's take? Yep, he makes the rules. It's steep, but it sure beats living in North Vegas. Here on the Strip, I can afford to eat. And no one tries to kill me. That's true. Uh, what do you sell? Non-alcoholic beverages and snack foods. The casinos get to sell booze. No one else does. I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess. A friend of the strip? Okay, so we're going to buy all this because, I mean, we're going to need food and drink and stuff. There we go. Hey, look who's here. Yeah, it's me. Yay. All right. Alright, so now this is the place that we're going, right over here. We're eventually going to be going over there, but definitely not yet. Um, and I think Michelangelo, we may do in uh, Monday's episode, we may do it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go get some well-deserved, uh, you know, fun time. Oh yeah. Evening. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Let's see here. Um, what kinds of things do you sell in this gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Uh, vault gear. Swell. Can you show me what you got? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Oh, oh, look at these toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage vault -Tec toy car? Or... Sarah, stop right there. Do you have any actual vault gear? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. <laughs> Thinking about that just blows my top. Mm. You know, leather is my speci speciality. Unzip it, heat it, and then rub a shine into it. Really? Well, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Just don't say here now. Don't want to get all the patrons riled up now, do we? Ha ha ha. Okay, why don't you help me out? And in the meantime, I'll think about where to take advantage of your skills. Shame that you can't fix boomer suits. They're very similar to vault suits. Hey, who says I can't fix that? You bring me those boom suits too, okay? You can count on it. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Alrighty. So, 
yeah, basically you need like repair or something like you said, but good we have all of them again. and we have the 30 ball suits, so we're in for a good time. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. All right. That's going to net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you want to trade all your vault suits right now? Hell yeah, I do. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Hey, stranger. Where you been, huh? I missed you. Yeah. Pass by my room and we'll catch up. I would like a room. Um, let's see here. You're kicking me into gear, huh? Well, I think I'll drive my chassis over to your pad. Wait for me down there and don't forget the oil. <laughs> Isn't she? Oh, wait, that's right. You gotta buy the room first. Give me a few to close the shop. I'll meet you at the room. Let's just wait a minute. Hello. Give me a few to close the shop. I'll meet you at the room. Yeah, so I kind of screwed that up. Give me a few to oh, close the it. shop. I'll meet you at the room. I guess we'll try waiting 24 hours and see what happens. Hmm, oh boy. Gotta drink my blue juice. Usually if you wait about 24 hours, it fixes things sometimes, so we'll see. Give me a few to close the shop. I'll meet you at the room. Okay, so you know what we're going to do then? Um, we'll just reload it. Blah blah blah. I like a room. Having you tonight. Go all the way down to the vault's main game room. Good to see you again. Okay. So let's see. Having you tonight is my. Okay, so we have the room. Okay. Good to see you again. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Good to see you again. Now we can, uh... Oh. Then we can get rid of them. Hey, string. And then, uh... You're kicking me into gear, huh? Okay, so hopefully that works now. Oh. Yeah, so now she's... Yeah, closing, locking the door and stuff now. So I'm gonna, oh, maybe she's not. What is she doing? She's sitting down? But I don't even know. All right. All right, so this is basically the hotel. Basically what happened was uh, when Mr. House uh, took back over this trip. He filled most of the place full of uh, concrete. Legion attacking so far from their bases means we'll have to watch out on the. So as you can see here, it's all concrete and stuff. I have no idea where the room is. Legion attacking so far from their bases means we'll have to watch out on the road. Hmm. They say it's safer to travel now that fiends are retreating, but I'd still look out for trouble. Okay, I have no idea where the bedrooms are. Nope. And nope. Open door. So wait, is this my room? Nope. There is, however. Oh wait, I think that's in Sarah's room. Okay. Um. So there is actually a, um, what's this, inaccessible, um, so there's actually a easter egg to follow three in this, um, gotta find, oh, that's, that's not the room I want, 
Um, definitely don't want that room. Inaccessible. Okay, so where is our room then? I'm so lost. Okay. I'm so I always get lost in here. Um, open door. So is this? Oh. Okay. Bedtime. Oh, look at these going black. Okay. Okay, so I see what happened. So for whatever reason, I guess, um on this version anyway. I know in the PS3 version you'll actually hear sax sounds in the background like moaning and, and screaming and stuff without you um first time I heard it I was kinda like, uh what's going on here? <laughs> um well I mean I knew what was going on obviously, but uh yeah I was kinda like, oh boy. Um But I guess on the PC one, I guess they don't have those sounds. I guess they took them out or something. I don't know. Um, hey. So that was pretty uneventful. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great you army. Around? Wait, can you actually play games down here? Traveling into the strip just got a lot easier now that the fiend that leaders leader are dead. shouldn't have messed with our. I great guess army. you can't. Okay, I have no idea how to get out of here. Like I said, I always get lost here. I'm pretty sure we have to go upstairs though. Okay, whatever. Let's just put a random quest on, because it'll point us how to get out of here. Nope. Uh, talk. No. Uh, confront Benny at the top. So I guess putting this on. We're not actually doing that this quest. I'm just doing. I guess put it on so the marker can show me how the hell to get out of here. Um, this way, I assume. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? Nope. Okay. Um, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to come upstairs? I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Okay, so we're going this way then. You yeah, okay? And I think... Yeah, I think 10 p.m. So I'm just going to wait till daytime, 12 hours to be 10 a.m. Oop, save it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see here. Cool. All right, so let's go back to the good old Lucky 38 and see our friends. Um, and music randomly cuts out. Um, the reason why the mu music, if you are wondering why the music usually cuts out here in the strip and stuff, um, is actually because there's supposed to be, like, you know, music and, like, actual, like, music music uh, playing on the strip here. Uh, but due to, you know, copyright strikes and all that... Um, you know, I, I can't be playing the music, unfortunately. I know I did in the first few episodes, but, um, you know, I got a few claims or strikes, whatever the lower tier um, things are, and I got a bunch of them, and that's why I stopped doing it. I miss it. You know, I know you guys miss it, but that's why I can't do it anymore, to be honest with you guys. Okay. So let's go up here. Talk to good old Victor. Where to, partner? Well, friend, we are going to the presidential suite. All right, so let's go see all our friends. Hey. Sup, Boone? And we got all Raul here. We got Gannon. Oh, where is... 
We are missing. Well, there's good old Veronica. There's our good friend. What's up? Not too much. See you around. Always gotta say hi to her. And there's Cass. Hey. And I still have no clue where Rex is. Um, to be completely honest with you guys. Um. All right then. I was actually gonna end the episode here, but let's actually go to um, let's go to the Kings and hopefully, hopefully. Um, I wasn't going to say hopefully he's at back with the king because um, that's the only thing that I can think of Casino floor. so let's save this here Alright, so... Oh yeah, so we just need to go down this. Literally just go through this door. And the kings should literally just be down the street here. Hopefully Rex is there. I mean, I hope he's there. I mean, because we told him, Hey Rex, go to Lucky 38. I'm pretty sure he did. I mean, I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of doubting myself now. Uh, um... <laughs> Let's just go. Oh my god. Wow, from right there I thought the back of that bus was a giant monster or something. <laughs> oh Jesus. Hopefully, I hope Rexy is there. So quiet and free side. All right, let's just save it here, like usual, and we'll see. Please be in here, Rexy. Please. Oh, thank God. The fuck? Oh, so he came to the king first, and then he went. So the game didn't know where to place him, so he went here, and then okay. <laughs> okay. Is the leader of the fiends got taken down. Yeah, Not so that's where he's going. Himself. He's going to Lucky Thirty Eight. We'll just follow him there. What the fuck? Where'd he go? Did he just die? Wait, what the heck's going- He just killed bad guys, what the hell? Free side, thug, free side- He literally just killed bad guys before he went there. Okay. Have a good stay. Oh. Usually they have, they say have that. Sometimes they say have a good stay, or whatever, or enjoy your time, or something. Alahoa says they're black ranger combat armor when like they're more of like a brownie color than anything. Yo, no ah shit, I wasn't fast enough. Boop, but he's gone. Okay, yeah, so he's gonna go all the way back in, which is good. Where to, partner? Okay. Alright, so now he's just kind of here, which is good. Yeah, he had a really fast run. So we found Rexy real, real good. That's 
really good. I'm glad that we found him. This is not going to be good to me. No, probably not. Alright, so let's just save this up here. I'm glad that we found Rex. So let's save this up here. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave the episode right here, I think. So that concludes today's episode of Fallout New Vegas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed uh, doing it. It was very fun. Uh, there are multiple ways you can do that Ultra Lux quest uh, beyond the beef. Um, but it all depends on how you start the quest. Um, so like you can you can convince Mortimer that you are like them. But I think you need to do it very early on in. Because we tried to do it afterwards, and he was pretty much like, no. Um, I know Marjorie, I think Marjorie is also kind of against it, because she was trying to, she basically told us to get out of her, get out of her face, pretty much. Um, was disgusted with us. But I think you can convince her of the old ways. I, it's been a long time since I've done that quest. Um, so... Because I remember there's one where you actually um, go find some guy. He's living out in the wasteland in this like shack or this house or whatever. Um, and you drug him. You throw him in an old garbage, you know, dump can thing. And the White Glove Society come around at night and they grab him and they bring him back. Um, you know, and then you serve, or they serve him up for, for dinner. Um... You can also, like, we uh, did the wine, but we didn't do anything with it afterwards um, because I couldn't figure anything out. Uh, you can also make the, the food um, and then present Ted as, you know, oh, well, is he still alive? Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> um, you know, so there's multiple, multiple ways you can do it, but I just couldn't remember and couldn't figure out how to do it because when, when we clicked on the food button or the the cook button on the stove when we tried to do it it didn't let us so i'm not too sure um i also want to note that i hope you guys like the new changeover uh from justin games to game time of course it's it's very nice it's it's much better in my opinion and <clears throat> just overall it looks better and it feels better um i don't mention anything about it in revelations one because um that was pre-recorded before that and you'll see revelations before you see this because it's going to go up on wednesday although it did admittedly go up kind of late on wednesday i didn't mean to have it up earlier in the day but that didn't happen because things happened um so there's that um i'm also planning on doing a resident evil zero uh playthrough i mean you guys are probably thinking well you've done zero a couple times on the channel um, but this is going to be more of like a challenge that I'm doing myself. I've never seen this on YouTube before, this type of challenge that I'm doing. I've never seen it on YouTube. And I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want people to be like, hey, you know, I watched this guy, you know, who said he's doing this challenge, so I'm going to do it. And, you know, I'd rather not have my ideas taken. Um, you know, I don't mind if people do it afterwards, but I haven't seen anything of people doing this type of challenge first and yeah and if you guys have an idea of what it is don't don't say anything don't you know say it in the comments just you know don't say anything you know please don't ruin the surprise and stuff i don't know when i'm going to do it because we already have uh vegas on mondays and fridays and revelations is going to be like a wednesdays kind of thing um now new uh, revelations one may not be consistent in the hours that it's put up um because it is on the PS4 and I can't set specific times for it to be uploaded. Unlike YouTube where you can, you know, um, pre-upload things and have them uploaded at proper times and whatever times you want. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, so, I don't know, like I said, when Resident Evil Zero, that the challenge I'm planning on doing, I don't know when that's going to be up because, like I said, of the schedule already, we got two days for Vegas and we have the Wednesdays for 
uh, Revelations 1. Um, we still have like Tuesday and Thursday, but I'd rather not, you know, record every single day or upload every single day. You know, I'd like to have a schedule so people can get used to stuff. Um, but I think for Zero, it might be a bit sporadic. Like, it's not going to have like its own specific day kind of thing. Um, so, so definitely keep an eye out for Resident Evil Zero. Um, because again, I don't have a specific day, and just because you see it on, say I put it up on a Tuesday, doesn't mean that it's going to be up on the next Tuesday. Uh, it may be up on the Thursday. Uh, it may be up, you know, the, the next week. I don't know. It, zero, that challenge isn't going to be on a specific schedule. Um, because it's more of a side project, but it's going to be fun. Um, but still, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, but anyway, this intro is getting pretty long, or this outro is getting pretty long, and, um, you know, I hope you guys have a very fun weekend, and, uh, you know, I will see you guys in the next episode of, or, uh, in the next episode of New Vegas, wow, I almost said Resident Evil, <laughs> oh boy, um, anyways, have a good weekend, peace out.